Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over the differences between a splitter and a riving knife and how to properly align them. A splitter on a table saw sits right behind the table saw blade and helps to prevent kickback. The splitter accomplishes this by preventing the material that you're cutting from moving behind the table saw blade and being thrown towards the operator. As the table saw blade is lowered, the distance between the splitter and the front of the table saw blade becomes larger and larger. Another disadvantage to the splitter is that during non-through cuts, the splitter needs to be removed. Now a riving knife is just a little bit different than a splitter. And no, it's not a knife that you bring along to attack your rival. <laughs> Unlike the splitter, with a riving knife installed, as the table saw blade is lowered, the distance between the edge of the table saw blade and the riving knife remains constant. Also unlike the splitter, with the riving knife on non-through cuts, the riving knife does not need to be removed. In order for a splitter or riving knife to have its maximal effectiveness, you'd like to have the splitter or riving knife uh, lined up exactly in line with the table saw blade. And the best way to check for that is by using a dial indicator. This jig really couldn't be any easier to make. All it is is a block of wood with a runner screwed to the bottom of it, off to, set to one side, and I have attached the dial indicator to the end of the block of wood uh, with a screw. So the first step in the process in checking the alignment of your riving knife is to zero your dial indicator on your uh, table saw blade. So I went ahead and uh, zeroed the face of my dial indicator to zero. And now all I need to do is push the jig back over on top of the riving knife and take a reading. And mine is showing that it's about one thou off or one thou um, in this direction, which uh, in, in my opinion is, is not too bad. But as I push it towards the rear of the riving knife, it gets even worse. And towards the rear of the riving knife, it's off by 10 thou uh, in this direction. So my riving knife is actually twisted a little bit uh, in this way. So I'm going to need to straighten this out in order to get a perfectly aligned riving knife. Fortunately for me, my table saw does have adjustments I can make uh, to bring this riving knife more into alignment uh, with the table saw blade. But these adjustments are probably going to differ from table saw to table saw. So you might want to look in your manual. Okay, so after adjusting this for a little while, I finally got the alignment pretty good. Uh, if I zero the dial indicator on the blade again and move the dial indicator to the front of the riving knife, it's off by one thou in this direction. And as I slide the dial indicator to the rear of the riving knife, it's only off by two thou in this direction. So only a difference of one thou uh, from the front of the riving knife to the back. So that's a pretty darn good uh, alignment. Okay guys, I wouldn't get too carried away uh, with the process that I just showed you. It's not absolutely critical that, that you get your riving knife uh, to within thousandths of an inch front to back. But uh, by using the process that I showed you, you will be able to quickly diagnose any problems that you might have with your riving knife. And by watching the dial indicator needle, you'll know which way to make the adjustment. So thanks for watching. One last thing, if you go to my website, you can register to enter my very first woodworking contest, which is a picture frame contest, by going to the link right here. Thanks again.